Hi, I'm Eric. I'm one of the founders of Consensus. Consensus is an AI search engine for academic and scientific research. Today, I'm going to be walking you through some best practices of how to get the most out of your Consensus searches. If you want to learn more best practices of how to use Consensus, make sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel to learn more. So when you're using Consensus, the first thing that we do is search for relevant research papers. That means the first tip is make sure that your queries are always about research-related subjects. Consensus tries to be flexible, so you can input all sorts of different types of syntaxes in Consensus. The first and most common is asking a natural language research question. So in this case, I input an example that is about a clear research question in natural language format. You'll see below, we found many relevant papers and produced you this nice AI-generated response to your query. Another way that we see users get a lot out of their consensus searches is to apply filters to their searches. So here, I'm gonna ask that same question about statins, and I'm gonna click this filter button and open up this drawer to select from relevant filters. So first I'll say, I want papers from the last 10 years. Scroll down to this methodology section. This will allow me to select, I want randomized control trials, and I can even filter by the population of our studies. And here I'm gonna say, I only want studies done on humans. I'm gonna hit apply filters. It will run a new search for me with these new additional filters. Now what you'll see that is interesting is when you filtered for some of these rigorous study details, the results actually changed. That is the feature functioning as it should. And when you focus in on only the most rigorous study designs, you actually see that the effects are more positive than they were in the other case. Another way to get a lot out of your consensus searches is lean into our flexible AI query parsing. What you can do to a search is you can actually add in context at the end of it where you're instructing our AI models how to respond to you. So in this case, I'll use that same core research question, but instead I'm gonna add in and make me a list of all of the pros and cons. And what you'll see, you'll get the same set of research papers from the original query, but now the response back to you is going to be in the way that was requested. In a bulleted list outlining the pros and cons of statin treatment for cardiovascular disease in elderly populations. You can get pretty creative with what you ask consensus to do. You can ask it to return results in a table format, or even respond in a style or tone that you're interested in. I just walked through three examples that show how far AI can take you in a product like Consensus. But another thing that's important to call out is that Consensus supports classical, advanced academic search functionality as well. You can come to Consensus and use Boolean searching terms. You can put quotes around your search, an exact match by terms or a paper title, and you can even input an author's name and we'll search for papers by that author. Going all the way back to the top of the video, we try to be flexible to our users and bring the best of both worlds of classic academic search alongside new AI flexible driven search. Thanks for checking out this video. We're gonna put a link to some best practices for search in the description of this video and stick around on this YouTube channel for more walkthroughs of the consensus product.